Hello, hello, hello guys, this is Tyler Ramey and welcome to a DIY furniture episode. So, today I am going to uh, transform some furniture that came with my condo when I bought it and let me just preface this by saying that I am not a DIYer, okay? So if I can do this, anybody can do it. And this is going to kind of be my video diary to uh, make sure that I don't mess anything up. And if I do, you can come along with the fails. So, I am going to be taking my side tables, I have two side tables, um, a headboard, and a large dresser with mirror here and I am going to paint it gray and white so come along with me we're gonna start with the uh, side tables today okay guys the supplies that you will need or at least the supplies that I got for this project are um, primer so I got a white primer in the Valspar uh, project perfect primer and gray because again I'm doing some gray and some white and then I have the uh, Valspar Color Radiance Paint and Primer. So they told me at Lowe's that it wasn't absolutely necessary to get a primer. I just figure for durability, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a primer just to help the paint stick because my wood is sort of that cherry finish like you saw and has sort of that shine on it. So I just wanna make sure the paint sticks. So I went ahead and got a primer. I have a cat audience here, folks. And so yeah, that's the paint and primer. Again, that's the Valspar brand and it was a little bit more expensive than the traditional spray paints that you can probably find at Lowe's, but I just thought for, you know, a dollar extra per can, it's probably worth it just because I do know that the Valspar is a good name and a good brand. Um, I also have some just reusable gloves because the spray painting is probably going to get messy, a drop cloth to put down, um, a face mask so I don't breathe in the fumes. I got some medium grit sandpaper. Apparently with the primer you don't have to sand, but I am just going to quickly sand again just to get as much paint to stick as possible and uh, some painter's tape because I am going to have to tape my mirror to make sure that I don't get any spray paint on the uh, mirror surface. So, Ripley gonna help. Uh, we will see you guys downstairs and we're gonna start with the side table. There are the supplies, we'll see what happens. I'm sweating. Okay, I just sanded them and now it is time for the primer. We're gonna see what happens. Okay y'all, primer is on and now we're going to apply the uh, flat paint, paint and primer. Okay hey guys, they are still a little wet. I ended up giving them about three coats of paint after the primer. Um, and you'll, you'll be able to tell a little bit better once I get them in the room, but 
I'm happy with the way they turned out. I didn't paint the backs because quite frankly I don't care. They're always going to be against the wall and I'm not that psychotic. So there they are and I will uh, head back and show them to you in the room. And I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay y'all, finished product. There's one. And there is the other. So as you can see, it's a huge transformation. They're a lot bigger than I thought, especially white. Um, but I am absolutely obsessed with it. And it was so easy. Literally just the primer and then the spray paint. It did take a little bit more of the actual paint paint. Um, I had to go back to Lowe's and get a couple more cans. So I'm super excited. Those are why this is going to be in the same process, the headboard, and be done in a dark gray. And then I'm going to do that in a dark gray. So, we'll see how it goes, but it's going to be the same process. Okay guys, um, I did the same exact process, don't mind these pillows, they don't really match. For my headboard, I did tape off the top um, just to keep it white and make it different, but I did uh, a dark gray. It looks a little more blue than I would like, but I am super excited with how it turned out, um, just in general. I wanted kind of a more gray uh, motif to go with kind of the modern look of my bedroom again when I got this stuff um, it came with the condo and it was that cherry wood which I'm just not a big fan of so this really has made a huge difference I can't believe how easy it was in terms of just a little bit of sanding primer and paint um, I am a firm spray paint believer now um, I would have been skeptical before that middle picture crooked. <laughs> mental side note um, so yeah definitely try it if I can do it like I say guys anybody can do it trust me um, the headboard is done. The side tables are done. I'll probably go ahead and upload this video before I complete this, but I am going to do the same thing, uh, gray and white on the uh, dresser. So anyway, thank you guys for checking this out. Uh, try it yourself. DIY, a little updated modern furniture look for not a lot of money. Enjoy.